Laryngitis is defined as inflammation of the larynx and is one of the most common disease conditions affecting the larynx. Laryngitis can be divided into two types, acute laryngitis and chronic laryngitis. Acute laryngitis typically lasts less than three weeks, and most cases are self-limiting. Most common causes of acute laryngitis include vocal misuse, exposure to noxious agents, or infectious agents that cause upper respiratory tract infections. Rarely, acute laryngitis can occur due to autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, relapsing polychondritis, Wegener's granulomatosis, and sarcoidosis. Common infectious agents causing laryngitis include rhinoviruses, parainfluenza viruses, respiratory syncytial virus, adenoviruses, influenza viruses, measles virus, mumps virus, varicella zoster virus, and bordetella pertussis. Chronic laryngitis usually lasts more than three weeks and is caused by various factors. Some of them include the following. Cigarette smoke. Inhalation of polluted air. Vocal misuse. Irritation from inhalers. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Patients presenting with laryngitis often present with symptoms of upper respiratory tract infections such as cough, sneezing, nasal congestion, sore throat, rhinorrhea, postnasal discharge, and fever. In addition, they experience dysphonia or a hoarse voice. Sometimes, the patients may also complain of pain when using voice, also known as odynophonia, dysphagia, odynophagia, or pain when swallowing, difficulty in breathing, fatigue, and malaise. Visualization of the airway with laryngoscopy may reveal erythema and edema of the vocal cords. It can also exclude other causes that can give rise to hoarse voice, such as tumors and lymph node enlargement. However, this facility is not available in every center and is not necessary always. Treatment of laryngitis starts with general measures such as quitting smoking and other irritants and complete voice rest. Whispering should be avoided as it can aggravate the condition due to hyperfunctioning of the larynx. Inhalation of humidified air promotes moisture of the upper airway, which helps clear the secretions and exudate. Use of antihistamines and corticosteroids may delay the course of illness due to their drying effect and therefore, those medications should be avoided. If laryngitis is due to gastroesophageal reflux, treatment with anti-reflux medications is recommended. These include proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole, esomeprazole, and pantoprazole, as well as H2 receptor blockers such as famotidine. Moreover, Dietary restrictions in patients with gastroesophageal reflux is necessary. They should be advised to have smaller meals and to avoid fatty meals, caffeine products, and spicy meals as much as possible.